Hello everybody and welcome back to Byte of Linux. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 themes for KDE. Now KDE is a pretty good looking desktop environment, I'd even go to say that it has the best look and feel out of the box with no modifications. However, its appearance can still be improved with the addition of some custom themes and icon packs. So that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in this video. I'll be showcasing the top 5 KDE themes, in my opinion, that look great and implement some modern design elements. And also this list is in no particular order. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we install some of the themes, I'm first going to show you the KDE store. Now the KDE store is a very essential part of customizing your KDE desktop environment because it offers a lot of community built modifications. So let's go open up a web browser and from here you can type store.kde.org. This will bring you to the KDE store and here you can see on the left side there are a lot of different categories. So what we're interested in is plasma themes. So you can just click on plasma themes and you get all the different plasma themes here. And you can also sort it by latest or by top themes. Another way of looking at themes is by going into system settings. From here you can go to workspace theme and you can see right now I have the default breeze theme applied but if you click on get new looks you can view additional themes and this is essentially pulling from the KDE store. So here you can do the same thing sort by newest most downloads um, if you have any themes installed it will show those there and you can simply click install to install the theme and click d details to view the details of the theme. So now that you know how to install a theme, let's go ahead and try one out. So the first theme on this list is the Helium theme. Now go over to the KDE store, click Plasma Themes, and make sure that it is filtered by top. Once you're there, scroll down, and you can see that as of right now, the Helium theme is number 10 on the top list. However, you can still scroll up and search it if it's not there. So click on the Helium theme, and we can view how the theme looks by clicking the screenshot. You can see that it has a nice blur effect and it's overall a light theme. So to actually install it, you can see that there are two buttons here, download and install. So as of right now, the install button does not work because it seems that Firefox, or rather KDE, does not understand this OCS protocol, but we can download it and install manually. So go over here, click download, and you can see that there are two versions right now, Helium 8.4 and Helium 8.32. If we scroll down, we can see that the latest version is Helium 8.4. So download Helium version 8.4. Click Save File. And once it's downloaded, you can see here that it is in my Downloads folder. Next, open up System Settings and go ahead over to Workspace Theme. Then click Desktop Theme and click Install from File. So we can go over to our Downloads folder, click Helium, and it should install successfully. Once it's installed, you can just click on Helium and click apply and you can see that our desktop changes. Now we have a transparent background here. Now you'll notice that here it does not show up in look and feel. Now that is because Helium is only a theme and is not a plasma look and feel meta theme, which is why it does not show up here. So for this one you can just leave it as breeze and it'll still look great. All right, now let's go over and check out the second theme on the list, which is Adapta KDE. Now Adapta is a pretty sweet theme, I've also been using it on my GNOME and GTK based desktops, and luckily it's been ported over to KDE, so let's go check that out. Now this time, we don't have to do such a long install process, I only did that with Helium just to show you how to install from a file. This time we can just go over to System Settings, go over to Workspace Theme, and over here click Get New Looks. You can just search Adapta, and it should show up, click Install. And after waiting for a bit, you can see that the install button changes to uninstall, which means that it is installed. So click close and click adapta up here and click apply. After clicking apply, you can see that our whole workspace changes and it is now darker since adapta does have dark window borders. Click over to desktop theme and make sure that adapta is also applied over here. Now you can notice here that adapta is a little quirky. All the icons are removed and we can quickly fix this by going over to icons and selecting breeze once more or whatever icon pack you had previously applied 
and click apply. Now once we exit out of system settings and try loading it back up again, you'll see that our icons have been fixed. Okay, so the next theme on the list is Valors. Now I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but we'll install it anyways. So when I try to install it using the system settings dialog or by downloading the file here and clicking install from file, it says that the installation fails. I'm not sure why that happens, but we're going to have to install it by placing the files in the correct folder. So go ahead over to the Valores page on the KD store. You can just search it at the top over here and click on the download button. And you can see here that there are two versions. One is Valores 4 and one is Valores 5. Valores 4 is for the Plasma 4 desktop and is not actively developed anymore. So download the Valores 5 version. Click save file. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead over to your downloads and extract this file. So click here and extract. And we're going to want to extract this to another folder. So you can see here that we have our theme folder and we can remove the compressed folder. Now go ahead and copy the Valores 5 theme folder and we're going to have to place it under local share plasma desktop theme so just paste it right here and you should see that the folder appears now go ahead over and go to system settings and now when we go to workspace theme and desktop theme you should see the Valores 5 theme so go ahead and click on that and then click apply and you can see that our desktop immediately shifts to a nice dark black which looks pretty nice in the eyes now if you also want to change look and feel click look and feel and click get new looks now, getting the Valores look and feel does work. However, the desktop theme does not. So search Valores and install this Valores look and feel package. It's by the same author as the desktop theme and install the standard one. So close that up and click Valores and apply. And now we have the Valores theme installed. Okay, so the fourth theme on this list is ARCKDE. Now ARC is a theme that we all know and love and it's been ported over to KDE. So you can go over to github.com slash papyrus development team slash arcade papyrus is actually another theme which i also highly recommend and their development team uh, maintains this port so you can scroll down and if you are running a ubuntu based distribution you can use these three commands to install if not you can use this bash script to install it now i am running kde neon which is based off of ubuntu so i'll just run these lines right here so first add the Papyrus repository. And if you wish to install Papyrus, you can also do that after adding this repository. Then update your list. And once that is done, you can actually install RKDE. So enter yes. And you can see here that it automatically installs the Kvantum theme engine. Now Kvantum is a pretty important part of the Arc theme. It just makes installing it and configuring it a lot easier. So if you're not using these three Ubuntu lines here, uh, you can you install the Kvantum theme engine separately by going over to github.com slash tsujan slash kvantum, which is the official repository and installing it through there. But using app to install it with Ubuntu is just a lot easier because it automatically installs it. Okay, so after a while, everything should be installed. So we can minimize this terminal window and then you can open up the Kvantum theme manager. So just type Kvantum open that up and what we want to do is change the theme so click change delete theme over here at the bottom and click this drop down and you can see that there are three variants of the arc theme arc which is completely light arc dark which is completely dark and arc darker which has a light content theme and a dark window bar so i'm going to use arc darker for right now and click use this theme and you can see here that everything changes we see we have this nice flat design with the arc theme and you can also configure the active theme by clicking configure active theme and you can change a lot of the different settings here and now we have the arc theme installed with all three of its variants so the final theme on this list is aex plasma now this theme is loosely based off of macOS, so if you really like macOS, you can use this custom theme and combine it with the macOS icons, and you'll feel like you're developing on a Mac. So let's install it. We can go over to System Settings, Workspace Theme, Desktop Theme, and Get New Themes. You can just search AEX, and you can see that we have AEX Plasma right here. Click Install, and then let's close out of this window and apply the AEX theme. And there you have it. Now one thing that I would like to mention that I didn't talk about before is changing the window decorations. So you can see now that when I open up 
a window. We have the stock breeze theme at the top, but we can actually change that. So you can do that by going over to window decorations and opening this up. And you can see here that we have the window decorations for some of the themes that we installed. So if I want the adapta theme window decorations, I can just click on that and click apply. And you'll see that the corresponding window buttons appear. So if you really want the theme applied fully to your desktop, then you should change the window borders. So here are screenshots for each of the themes that I showcased in this video. Um, each of them includes the theme applied with a few windows open. So hopefully from this you can get a sense of how the different themes compare. Okay everyone, those were the top 5 themes for the KDE desktop. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts. Also, if you use a theme that I didn't mention in this video, please let me know. So with that, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.